guys, I'm sorry it's taken me so long to record this video and to put it up. I've had a crazy week and I think I'm going to start just posting videos on Fridays or Saturdays. Tuesdays, I have had something come up every Tuesday so it's not going to work for me to post a video on that day. But now on to the subject of today. The question is, what is the difference between mercy and grace? And is there one? So, on April 8th, 2022, I wrote to Dr. Albert Moeller about the difference between mercy and grace. And he answered me in his, um, in his podcast called The Briefing, which he does every day. And I will link it below in the description of this video so you can listen to his full answer. But um, I'll quote him a little bit in this and talk about what he said, but mostly I'm going to be talking about what I've discovered. And um, so let's talk a little bit about mercy and grace. So mercy is a legal term. Um, it's when you have the power to punish someone but decide not to, and it's used 174 times in the Bible. Um, and then here's a Bible verse about mercy that I really like. It says, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. And that's Lamentations 3, 22. Um, and then grace is unmerited favor is the definition that Albert Moore gave me. And I really like that. I, so I think that's what I'm going to stick with is my, um, it's my def definition of grace is unmerited favor. And it's used 131 times in the Bible. And here's a verse about grace. He said, But my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And that's 2 Corinthians 12, 9. And I really love that, where, where God gives us his grace and that he uses his power to show how great he is in our weaknesses by giving us grace. Um, another one about grace, I really like this one. It's from, I think it's from John. I didn't actually write down where it was from, so... Um, yeah, it says, for from his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. So just continual blessings from above. So, um, let's, and then here's one that kind of connect mercy and grace. It says, but God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. That's Ephesians 4, 5. So, because he is rich in mercy, he has given his grace to save us. That's what, that's what that verse is saying. So, they go together. We know that much. Um, and then mercy. Mercy, to have mercy, you have to have done something wrong. And what we've done wrong, which I hope you all already know, is that we broke God's perfect law. We have sinned in his face. And um, we deserve damnation. We deserve hell. We deserve eternal punishment and separation from God's glory, but eternally in his presence through his wrath. Um, but because of his mercy, he has decided to give mercy to some of us, not all of us, but he gives mercy to, to, the, to his children who, who he has chosen to give it to. It's nothing we deserve. It's nothing that we, we, could, we could do to receive. And then grace, I think in this sense, unmerited favor is kind of, it's kind of what happens afterwards. You get grace upon grace. But of course, mercy is a grace. So you can't have those two separated. But you continually get grace after you have, have had his mercy to forgive all of your sin. You get grace in everyday life to continue. You continue to get grace by, by seeing his gifts, by having spiritual gifts. Those are all his grace, from his grace. And of course, you get mercy every day too because we fell in sin every day, but he continually shows his mercy to us and gives us grace. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a short video. That's kind of all I have to say about this. Here's, here's a quote I'll, I'll use from him, from Albert. It says, you cannot have mercy without grace, nor can you have grace without mercy. And in Christ, we have grace and mercy infinitely. So with mercy comes grace and with grace comes mercy because we don't deserve any of the graces that God gives us, and we most certainly do not deserve the mercy which he extends to us. And it's only because his son, because of Christ, that we can have both 
that we can have them both abundantly. And, um, hold on. But he just, he, he loves us so much that he would send his son to cover us with his mercy and his grace so that we can go and live with him forever and that we can, he gives it to us so we can spread his word to the, the nations today and then spend eternity with him around our father's throne. So let me know what you think. Is there a difference between mercy and grace? Let me know if this is clear, if you have any other questions about mercy and grace. And um, let me know if you have any other topics you would like me to cover, any other questions you would like me to answer. And I will see you guys soon.